Hey guys, it's Jago Lashley here, and I'm here with my part two of my July book. Oh, I keep saying July, August book haul. I did not put in a, uh, I did do a part one, sorry, but uh, I haven't uploaded it yet because it's like 15 minutes long, so I might have to refilm it again. But we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine books, I believe, which isn't too bad. And I'll tell. Sorry, my cat. And I'll tell you why I did this book haul. Um, these come from, like, the usual places. Target, Barnes & Noble clearance at the store, um, a thrift store, and Savers. The one book at Savers I picked up was Missing Girl. No, sorry, Girl Missing by Tessa Garretson. Garret Garretson. I have been wanting to read this book. I've seen it at Walmart a couple times, and it was like three bucks, I believe. So I picked it up. And it's about this girl. Um, she goes missing, and there's a matchbook. It's, there's nothing to identify the body but a matchbook or something. It sounds really good. And the spine's already broken in, which I don't like that, but it'll be easier to read. Move cat. Then I went to this other thrift store down by my house. And I picked up Scott Tarot Identical. Um, I've seen this at Savers a long time ago. I went back to get it and they didn't have it. It sounds interesting. Um, and it's just black with that. It is just about um, his identical twin brother. He's, really, he's released from prison. And the other guy is running for Senate. And... People are after the guy that got out of jail and their identical brothers, and it sounded really good. Okay, then I went to Target. Um, the reason I went to Target is because I went for a Target interview to be a cashier. And while I was waiting, I picked up these two books. And just so you guys know, um, get down, cat. I'm sorry, he's being a pest. I got these two, oops, sorry guys. These two books, 30% um, off. This is Jennifer Wiener, All Fall Down. 30% off, I still kept the sticker on it. This just sounded really, really good. I wasn't looking for this book, but just blue with blue. I saw it and I read what it was about and I liked it. It's about this girl. She is happily married. She has a child and everything. And she's in her daughter's, um, what do you call those doctors? pediatrician's office and she's taking a test through a magazine if she has an addiction if you have any you know an addiction and she takes you know Vicodin I think um Vicodin after after gym a Percocet after a long day of work and she realizes that maybe she does have an addiction and it's it sounds really good so I picked it up and then the reason I was at the book aisle while I was waiting for my interview was to pick up this book um I'm not really into Stephen King, but this book sounded really good and not like his old stuff, which is a lot of details and a lot, a lot, a lot of adjectives. This just sounded really good. And I seen Candy from the Candy Show. Uh, she reviewed this and it made me want to go buy it. And that's Stephen King's Mr. Mercedes. First of all, I love the cover. Like it's just blood raining down with an umbrella and there's an emoticon right there, a smiley face. The back, I mean the side, there's an emoticon and the back is so cute. Is Mr. Tasty. And she said, this gets you into the mind of the killer and of the detective that's trying to find him. And it just sounded really good. I haven't gotten very far. Um, I'm like six pages into it because I've been very busy. But I'm picking this up today because I have to babysit. So I'm going to definitely be reading that. Then I went to Barnes & Noble to just do a celebratory book haul by because I got my interview at Target and they hired me right there on the spot. I was so happy. I haven't worked in like three years. So I was crying. Like they just were like, we're, we, you're what we want. And they hired me right there on the spot. So I start next week, which I'm so ecstatic. Um, so I went to Barnes and Noble and celebrated with books, of course. And there was nothing I really wanted in um, the YA. I'm kind of getting out of the contemporary and more into like the murder mystery stuff. So I wanted to get some of that. And I went to check out the clearance because for, for 30 bucks, I was able to get one, two, three, four, five books, three hardcovers and two paperbacks. 
that's unheard of. So I picked up this book. It's called Tumbleweed by Leah Mich Mich I don't know, Mihiam. First of all, I love the cover. That was totally a cover by. But when you open it up, like, look at that. Just so pretty. Like, it's plain in the front. But you open it up, it's flowers. And this is about uh, a girl goes, re she's recently orphaned, 11-year-old. Um, she goes from her private school life in California to a small town in Texas. And she meets three other orphans, and it's their, it's how they, their lives go, which is their love triangle. Uh, three friends growing up through high school graduation, and they meet 40 years later. And it just sounded really cute, and I love the cover. And that was $5.98 for a hardcover. Then, because I've been trying to get into scaries and murder mysteries, I picked up Ted Decker, The Bride Collector. And this one sounded so good. And it's got like a nice cover to it. There's nothing really, I don't think, of, yeah, just black and gold. This one is about a girl, uh, not a girl. This guy is trying to find the killer who is going after people that he thinks are pretty and says he loves them because they are beautiful. He kills them because he loves them. And that's what got me hooked to wanting to read this. And he leaves a veil at every scene and it just sounded really good. And that was $6.98. These are all new, too. Um, and then I picked up this last book, which feels so nice and smooth and hardcover, is Sandra Brown's Low Pressure. And it is about a storm that, there you go, uh, takes the life of her sister, and she is writing about it and puts a pseudonym on it so that we don't know it's her. The killer finds out it's her, and she might have been murdered, and the storm might have just been a cover-up, I guess. I don't know, but... That one was $6.98, and it's such a soft cover. That's what she looks like in the back. Very pretty. And the last two books I picked up were A Desirable Residence by Sophie Kinsella, or Madeline Wickham is her pseudonym name, but it's from her. And that was $4.98. And this is about um, just like no normal Sophie Kinsella book. It's about... It's funny, it's humor, it's a rom-com, um, it just, it sounded really good. And then when I was leaving to find my fiancé, I picked up this book because it sounded good. I didn't know it was a series. I don't think it really matters. This is like the second book in the series, but I think they're more companions than actual, like you have to read them in order. And that is Charlene Harris, Shakespeare Champion. It's four ninety eight, and this is about a girl Lily, who is at a gym, and she goes to this town called Shakespeare to try to get away from everything, I guess, from the first book. I don't know, because I don't have it. And um, she goes to the gym to try to get away from her troubles, and she finds a local bodybuilder with his neck broken with a barbell. And the town's underlying racial tension begins to boil. The white victim was connected to two unsolved murders of black residents. And it's just how that's going to play out. And it sounded really good. And the cover would look really cool. Whew. That is all of my books, guys. I plan on not buying any anytime soon. There's two that's coming out. I want one. It's like a Lizzie Borden one because that's where I live. Hello. So I want to get that book. It comes out September 2nd. And August 26th is Amity, which sounds really good. It's about the Amityville horror murders. It just sounds so good. But I'm going to go. I'm going to go read my Mr. Mercedes by Stephen King. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'm just so ecstatic. If you don't see as many videos from me, it's because I'm working. Um, but I will, like, I, I will try to let you know what books Target has, like what books are coming out. So that way I can give you guys a heads up. Uh, please comment down below if you have any questions. Subscribe, hit that like button, and I will talk to you guys later. Keep powering on. Bye, guys.